Here's a variation on Avogadro. The question asks, how many molecules of phosphorus oxide are produced when 1.86 grams of phosphorus burns? This question is different from other Avogadro questions in that it's based on a chemical reaction. And if it's a chemical reaction, there must be a chemical equation to go with it. We're almost certainly be given the chemical equation, but let's work it out for ourselves. When phosphorus burns, it turns into phosphorus oxide. Now, this is the formula for phosphorus oxide. You'll be given that. Let's balance this. If we end with two phosphorus, we must begin with two phosphorus. If we end with five oxygens, we must begin with five oxygens. By multiplying by two and a half, I start with a total of five oxygens. The question is, how many molecules of uh, phosphorus oxide are produced when we burn 1.86 grams of phosphorus? So I've picked out the two chemicals which matter. According to this equation, two lots of phosphorus, two moles of phosphorus, produce one mole of phosphorus oxide. We now have to turn these into numbers. Because the equation talks about 1.6 grams of phosphorus, I need to write my two moles in terms of mass. Now I know that one mole of phosphorus is 31 grams, so two moles of phosphorus will be 62 grams. Phosphorus oxide. Now it's tempting to write down the mass of one mole of phosphorus oxide, but that's not what we want. The question asks, how many molecules? So we don't want to express this mole in terms of mass, we want to express it in terms of number of molecules. Of course, number of molecules, one mole, we're talking about Avogadro's number. Because that's what one mole is. One mole of anything is Avogadro's number. In this case, Avogadro's number of molecules. So, 62 grams will give this number of molecules, Waving us to work out how many molecules do we produce starting with just 1.86 grams of phosphorus? It's now back to a very typical calculation. Will this be more than Avogadro or less than Avogadro? Well, if we're burning a smaller amount, we've got a smaller number of molecules. So once again, we take our Avogadro and make it smaller by putting the small number on top and a larger number below. Again, what we have here is a fraction of Avogadro's number. When we do the calculation, the answer comes to 1.8 times 10 to the power of 20.